Thank you for joining us. Uh, my name is Barry Greenaway. I'm the Skyjack product manager for our telehandler line. It's my pleasure today to introduce you to our new Skyjack TH telehandler line. I'm standing in front uh, at the moment of our Skyjack SJ1056TH, one of four machines in our new TH line. And this machine is also joined by our SJ643, our SJ843 and our SJ1044. In this case, the 1056 is a 10,000 pound capacity machine. I want to give you a bit of background on uh, the TH range before I dive into the features on this machine. Uh, Skyjack's been in the telehandler um, field now since 2007 with uh, two different acquired lines uh, that we've been fielding since then. But this is the, uh, the first instance of a true engineered from the ground up Skyjack telehandler. And by doing that, this has allowed us to make a true Skyjack machine that is, uh, has many things in common with what uh, our customers are used to on our scissor product and our boom product. And that is all keeping in mind our simply reliable ethos. So what I'll do, I'm going to take you from the front to the rear of this machine, highlighting the different features that we have. Starting at the front with our carriage, uh, the first thing we did was we did keep the carriages in common with the existing Skyjack VR line that the TH line replaces, so that all our current VR customers may reuse those attachments on the TH line. The attachment points on the yoke are the same, and we've also carried over a very successful quick disconnect uh, system, which is easily operated with two short pins that are very easily removed and replaced in the field as opposed to one common long pin with a load on it or a spring system, etc., etc. Uh, this can be removed and replaced in a matter of seconds. One thing you'll see that is uh, unique to the Skyjack TH range is that we have mounted our carriage level cylinder within the yoke instead of underneath the yoke of the machine. This allows it to be fully protected and out of the sphere of damage that may occur from the operator contacting the ground or contacting the wall of the building he's lifting onto, etc, etc. It also frees up a perfect space for us to fit this lifting hook, which is standard in all machines on Skyjack TH range. This lifting hook is a response to frequent requests for a correct method to lift suspended loads with without having to resort to difficult to manage uh, extra attachments. Every Skyjack TH machine is ready to properly and securely lift the suspended load as equipped from the factory. Unique to the 1056, we have our axle mount uh, outriggers as standard on the 1056 and optional on the 1044 unit. These outriggers being axle mount allow the operator full frame level whenever they're deployed and being outriggers they will lift the front tires off the ground but still allow full frame level. This machine is equipped with our optional boom light system and our optional work light system. Um, the boom lights are two front facing LED lights um, when we have our work lights equipped, that is two front-facing and two rear-facing halogen lights for uh, increasing the working hours that the machine can operate in. This machine, and indeed the entire TH range, is equipped with Dana axles, front and rear, as well as a Dana transmission. Uh, this was a key selection for us in the development of this project, giving our strong history of customer support, service and reliability with Dana product and the rest of the Skyjack product range. One of the key uh, design decisions on the SJTH range was moving the boom extension cylinder from inside the boom to underneath the boom in order to greatly increase service access. Not only does this increase service access to that cylinder, but service access to the internal boom hoses and sheaves is greatly improved and there is no longer any requirement to take apart the boom to service extension chains, retraction chains, extension cylinder or the, the boom hoses and sheaves. As part of the redesign, we had to redesign with tier 4 final in mind. Uh, Part of that mandated going to a side mount engine design like you see here today. The space claim of tier four final engines dictated that service access in the mid mount or rear mount machine would not meet up with Skyjack standards. Um, 
so to showcase our side mount design, we felt that this gave much better service access to the power plant. Starting from the top, you'll see fiberglass cowling, which is in common with our existing boom line. Uh, these have been a great success in the boom line as fiberglass is both heat resistant, repairable, and much more resistant to damage than conventional plastic or metal cowlings. We have increased the strength of the cowling at the front where it, is, where it is exposed to rocks and debris thrown from the front wheels with additional metal plates protecting that section. This is where things get a little different with the Skyjack range. Part of the challenge of going into Tier 4 Final is integration of DEF systems, SCR systems, DPF systems, all of which require complex maintenance and end user knowledge of the correct way to operate. This didn't fit in with our ethos of Simply Reliable. So the SJTH range has been engineered to require only 74 horsepower engines across the range, thus avoiding the need to go to an SCR DEF system. So this unit, is, this unit uh, shown in front of you today is equipped with the Deutz TCD 3.6 liter, 74 horse engine. But the important figure is not the 74 horse, it's the 290 pound foot of torque that this engine generates. Torque is what feeds our hydraulic system, uh, torque is what gets this machine upgrades, and torque is what gets it out of difficult terrain conditions. The trade-off that we accepted for that is that we reduced the top speed of this machine. We worked very closely with both Deutz and Dana in order to develop a gearing strategy that gave us optimal tractive effort, torque to the wheels and gradeability. In fact, the SJ1056TH with 74 horsepower has 5% more tractive effort than our old 110 horsepower VR1056. With only, uh, with only a trade-off in travel speed in mind, we believe this is the correct strategy to go with. However, for those that need that increased travel speed, we also have an optional engine in the 1056 for 107 horsepower 3.6 Deutz engine. This does incorporate a DEF system, but does not incorporate a DPF that requires regen cycles. Moving to the rear of the engine bay, we have set up our cooling package on rubber mounts to allow it to absorb vibration and uh, retain its integrity in the field. Also to increase return on investment, all Skyjack SJTH machines are equipped with an automatic D-clutch mounted on the service brake and parking brake so that the transmission is automatically decoupled whenever the operator is lifting a load. This prevents damage and increased wear being done by an operator who leaves the machine in gear while on the parking brake or on the service brake and performing hydraulic functions. Moving to the top middle of the engine, you'll see a rather unconventional setup here. This is uh, what we call our Posi Air shutoff system. This is an option that's uh, suitable for the oil and gas sector. What this does, it's an automatic valve that uh, completely blocks the intake pipe of the machine should it detect an engine overspeed condition. This, is, this can be a problem in the oil and gas industry where a diesel engine starts to breathe oil vapor or gas vapor that may pr be present in the environment and run away out of control. The shocker posi air system prevents that from happening. At the rear of the engine bay, we have a heavy metal guard with sideways facing slats to protect the radiator from debris and any other condition that can get at the radiator to, to block it and damage it. By sideways facing these slats, the machine can draw cooler from the inboard section of the machine and it protects the radiator from having fins bent during power washing, etc. You'll also see that we run our intake piping so that our intake housing is outside of the engine bay and protected within the rear chassis of the machine. This is in order to allow the engine to always breathe cool air that is dust free and not inside the engine bay where it gets hot and dusty. This allows us to run um, at ambient temperatures in excess of 120 degrees. In order to access the air filter housing we have a tool free door here that gives full access for air filter changing and allows that to be easily removed without having to remove any other components or climb over hot engine piping. Moving forwards in the rear of the machine, all 10K units are equipped with a rear axle stabilization cylinder. 
On these machines, they're set up so that whenever you elevate the boom to 40 degrees or higher, they automatically limit frame level to plus or minus four degrees in order to prevent the operator from, from leveling the machine too far. It will also prevent the operator from lifting the boom beyond 40 degrees if the frame is not within four degrees of true level. The SJTH line is also equipped with a composite plastic fuel tank mounted in the rear of the cab. This tank is impact resistant, doesn't rust like a steel tank, and is expected to enjoy a much longer service life than an equivalent steel tank. It's also much easier to replace and is uh, bolt on, bolt off with a clamp system in order to uh, allow that tank to float while being securely retained. Moving on to the cab of the machine, we, uh, we have a North American company that designed this cab specifically for our requirements for the TH project. This cab is a lot roomier than uh, what we've had before, significantly more entrance room with the, you know, the uh, rubber mounted step. We have ease of access that uh, is unrivaled. The important thing for this cab from a return on investment standpoint is that all the glass in it is bolt on and clamp replacement and it is all flat glass with no specially designed curved pieces. This greatly reduces the cost of replacement panels and, reduce and eliminates the need for a specialist glass company to come out and re-urethane in replacement panels etc. What it also allows, it allows a fleet manager the flexibility to retrofit an open cab into a closed cab with only one or two hours worth of work at, uh, at the rental yard. Is easily installed with the heater system and uh, installing individual glass panels. On our open cab, the right hand glass is a solid piece and is standard. The rear hand, uh, the, the rearward glass is standard with the wiper washer combo as well. In terms of operation and controls, if you can drive any other telehandler in the market, you know how to drive the Skyjack already. Our single joystick control is intuitive and easy to operate. We have a trigger switch to convert to frame level mode, frame level left, frame level right. We have a thumb switch for carriage uh, level, so carriage level down, carriage level up. And by doing it this way we give the operator full proportional control for slowly moving the carriage as required. We have the thumb switch for auxiliary hydraulic one way, auxiliary hydraulic the other way, and then the standard forward down, backward up and uh, extend, retract boom controls. Moving to the control panels, everything is clearly labeled. You have your four steer modes for coordinated, crab, and, and front wheel steer, park and brake controls, window, wa window washer controls, and uh, outrigger blank controls for, uh, for machines equipped with such. Road light controls, again, for machines equipped with that. Machines are equipped as standard with a Deutz multifunction display. This is to allow service techs to be able to pull any engine trouble codes and the descriptions of that code without requirement for specialist software or laptops. However, we do have a diagnostic port available if, uh, if the uh, service tech wishes to, to use it that way. All the steel panels on this uh, plastic dash are removable, giving access to our relay-based and hardwired control system. So just like our booms and our scissors, everything on this machine is controlled with relays and point-to-point -point wiring. The only computer on this machine is the engine control unit. Underneath the dash, we have a large removable steel panel that gives full access to the steering orbital that allows it to be removed as a single unit. On this closed cab machine, we have a sliding side window, we have a split top window, and we have a glass lower panel allowing visibility out to the side to ensure that you won't uh, run into anything over at the side of the machine. Thank you for reviewing uh, the Skyjack TH range with me today. For further information, please visit www.skyjack.com or contact your local Skyjack dealer or Skyjack sales representative.